Hi, how are you keeping a sense of normalcy in your life during these crazy chaotic times that we are currently living in? Do you have any rituals or practices that are helping you maintain a sense of normalcy in your life right now? My name is Stephanie Roth, I'm with YourFertileSelf.com and in this video I'm gonna chat with you about the importance of having and practicing daily rituals to help you maintain a sense of normalcy um, and stability in your life during crazy times. And I'm gonna give you some ideas for um, some rituals that you can start incorporating into your day. So, let's go ahead and get started. First, why rituals? Just the word ritual sounds kind of like, oh, dull, boring, same thing every day, habit, um, getting stuck. That is not what rituals are about at all. Rituals, um, they provide us with an ongoing way to structure our lives and to allow stability and continuity. We as humans crave this on a cellular level um, and rituals do not impede us from being spontaneous and um, going with the flow and allowing magic to happen in unexpected places. Ritual does not mean stayed. Ritual, what it does is it gives us a framework um, by which we can live our lives. And it actually helps us to create the space in our lives to allow for that free flow and spontaneity and creativity and magic. They, they're the backbone, if you will, um, to help us um, you know, live a, a stable life. So right now, you know, these crazy times that we are living in, our lives, our world has been totally turned upside down. This is so unprecedented for all of us and we've spent the past few weeks like just not really knowing what to do. Um, you know, rituals can help us and sustain us during these times to help us keep moving forward. Um, rituals, you know, just by giving us the structure that we humans do crave on a cellular level, rituals engender a sense of calm in um, our life and in the flow of our life. A sense of calm, a sense of trust, a sense of faith. Um, they give us that um, to help us um, keep moving forward even in uncertain times. And rituals also, you know, help us tap into our authentic selves um, to really get into and connect with ourselves um, on a deep level. Um, depending, you know, what we're doing, uh, what kind of ritual we're doing, rituals can help us, you know, access a deeper level of consciousness and, and allow for full expression of our soul and our spirit. So rituals are very important. Um, and it's a good idea to just continue to practice them um, no matter what's going on in the world around us. It helps us be grounded and to feel safe um, in our world. So that's why I believe that rituals are important. Um, you know, for a fertility journey, um, certainly um, rituals around our menstrual cycle, our whole cycle is uh, a cyclical ritual. Um, the full moon cycle, you know, we do rituals around the moon. Um, you know, and these are things that we're already doing. Um, on, on my YouTube channel, I do have a ritual um, that you can do for um, a new fertile beginning, and I'd love for you to check that video out. Um, so rituals can help us in all aspects of our lives, in our fertility journey, in career, in accessing our spiritual selves, in managing our relationships with others, and just being really fully grounded and present in ourselves. When everything feels like it's going crazy around us, rituals help to keep us grounded. So I'd love for you to think about um, some rituals that you can do to help get you set up for the day. You know, right now we're all at home. Um, and the days are just kind of running into each other. Um, you know, what day is it today even? Um, you know, and, and everything's kind of starting to run together and having those rituals can help us still, um, you know, set us up for 
a uh, good day and really kind of reclaim the power that we feel maybe has been kind of stripped from us um, in the current world circumstances. So I've got a few tips and sort of a morning ritual that you can try to incorporate into your own daily routine. Um, I have been trying to stick to this as much as possible, uh, my morning ritual, and I'd love to share it with you. So um, there's just a few kind of aspects to it. This is something that you can kind of get done in maybe 15 minutes every morning. So the first thing is to keep waking up relatively early and to get up at the same time every day. Right now, you know, um, maybe you're working at home or you're out of school or maybe um, you're not working. Um, you know, so it's really easy to fall into that, just sleeping in a little bit later and later every day. And you're kind of like, well, I'm just at home so I can get up whenever. I can be in my jammies all day. I don't have to take a shower. I can just like lay on the couch and watch TV. And it's okay to do those things every now and then, but just sort of on a daily basis, it's good to wake up at the same time every day, wake up relatively early, and still um, you know, follow our routines as if we were getting up and going somewhere. So taking a shower, getting dressed, getting out of bed right away. This one's kind of a hard one for me because I love to just kind of wake up and lounge in bed for, 30, 40 minutes, and the next thing I know, it's been over an hour before getting out of bed. But it's really important to just get up or get out of bed right away. So, you know, wake up early and get out of bed right away um, and go through your morning routine of showering and getting dressed as if you were going somewhere. I'm not saying you have to get up at the crack of dawn, um, but, you know, still relatively early so you can kind of capture that morning energy. So that's aspect number one. Number two, move your body. In the morning, it's a great time to just take five minutes and stretch. You know, do a couple of yoga poses. You could do a couple of down dogs. You could just kind of stretch your head and your neck, stretch your arms. You know, just move your body in some way. You know, just pick a few stretches, three or four, just to kind of wake your body up and get your body starting to move. So um, moving your body is just a great way, to, you know, a great ritual to get into when you're first starting your day. One of my favorite morning rituals is to drink a glass of water with half a lemon squeezed into it. Um, I've talked about this before. Um, lemon water is awesome and it's one of the best things you can do to start your day because that water, you know, when you wake up, you have been asleep. So you haven't had water in several hours. So that helps to get you on a good start of your water intake for the day. The lemon, um, you know, helps alkalize your tissues. It helps balance your tissues. Um, so squeezing half a glass of, uh, I mean, half a lemon into your water, um, just gives your water that extra added oomph to really, um, get it working for you in a positive way. So lemon water, drinking a glass of lemon water. Get up, stretch your body, drink your lemon water, and then you can take maybe five minutes and just sit with your eyes closed, breathe, you know, do some deep cleansing breaths, and it helps you get centered for the day. It helps you think about your intention for the day. Um, your goals, what you want to accomplish, your priorities, your intention. So set your intention for the day. Um, all of this helps you to connect with yourself, go deep inside yourself, really tune in to how you are feeling at that particular moment. Um, all of that can be accomplished with just five minutes with your eyes closed of deep cleansing breaths and really honing in on uh, your emotions, your feelings, and your intention for the day. If you do journaling, if that resonates with you, you could take a few minutes and write in your journal. If you enjoy practicing gratitude, I totally recommend this. You know, you can think about the things in your life that you're grateful for. Right now, with the world in such a huge state of chaos, it can be a little easy to lose 
side of that. Um, you know, we're home all the time, we're cooped up, we have cabin fever, our family members are driving us crazy. It's very easy to lose sight of um, the, the beauty and the good that we have in our lives. So to sum up, um, you know, morning rituals to set you up really well for the day, you know, get up early, get up at the same time every day, take a shower, get dressed as if you were going somewhere, move your body, drink a glass of lemon water, take some time in quiet contemplation, either through sitting, breathing, prayer, um, journaling, gratitude, whatever resonates with you, give yourself that time in the morning to do that and set your intention and your focus for the day. Um, you can accomplish all of that in probably about 15 minutes and it's probably the best 15 minutes you can give yourself during the day. It's a beautiful gift. The gift of a morning ritual is a beautiful gift that you can give yourself. I'd love if you tried this out and let me know how it goes for you. And um, be sure to hit subscribe on this video and you'll be able to get notified of all my future videos as soon as I post them. And go to my website, yourfertileself.com and download my free ebook, 101 Ways to Boost Your Fertility, even if you're over 35 and have been told there's no chance. Thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye-bye.